Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to hide empty rows in SSRS report. We'll be creating a tabular report and then depending on some of the cell values which are empty, we'll be hiding that row. We will be using a is nothing function that checks if the value is empty or null and then we'll use a IIF function to handle the row visibility. So depending on if our expression will be true, then we will hide that. Otherwise, we will not hide that row. So let's go ahead and take a look on the table. Here I have a data coming from the total sale table. So I'm going to copy this query and use in my report. The last record with the name Don Rivera has some null values and we can use those values and test our scenario on this one. Now go to SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and here you will be creating a new report add new item and the select a report and provide the name so we called it a hide row and uh, called underscore report add i have already created a, a video as how to create a ssrs project and share data sources so you can go ahead and take a look on that one if you are not aware of that so data sources right click here add data source and provide the name so let's call this one ds sales and here we will be using a shared one we don't want to create embedded because we have the shared one so we can use that right click on data set and create a data set provide the name so in this case we are going to call this one total sale and go to the data we are going to make this one is embedded data set so click with the data source and then paste your query now right click here insert a table once the table is inserted, bring the fields you need to display. So in my case, first name, last name, and I want to bring a sole price. And then finally, I want to bring it region. So four columns I want it. And then click here, bold and give some background color. So let's give this color. Now we are good here. Let's preview the report. As you can see that for Don Rivera, there are two empty values or cells here. Depending on one of the value, let's say if we want to just write for one, if the sold price is uh, blank or empty or null, what we want to do, we want to hide this row. We can do that. And then we are going to enhance our expressions and we are going to check both of the cells and then say, okay, if the both cells are blank or even more than two, so we can write our expressions. So now go to the design, click here and then right click and go to the row visibility. And uh, here we are going to use, uh, right now it is a show, we can hide and, and once you will, if you will click here and hide, uh, you will not see anything. But uh, in our case, we want to hide only depending on some uh, situations. Uh, so we are going to use expressions uh, and uh, check those uh, scenarios and the criteria is met, then we will hide, otherwise we will not uh, hide. So uh, click on FX uh, and uh, right here what we want to do, we want to say if uh, I, I f uh, if uh, is nothing uh, so this function is going to check uh, if this field is nothing so in this case uh, let's say sold price uh, and uh, we are checking sold price uh, is nothing then what we want to do if that's the true we want to change the visibility right otherwise uh, false so we are going to take a look on this one if this value is uh, empty then our visibility is going to be uh, true. So it means a row visibility will be, okay, we will be hiding that row. Otherwise, uh, false, so show the row. So that's how it is going to work. So IF function checks the first uh, expression and depending on that value, if it, that is true, it uh, use this value and uh, this value is for row visibility. So it means the uh, true, otherwise, uh, then we have a false. So hit okay. Sold price. And as you can see that the row is hidden now because we have checked the sold price is blank. So it is it was blank. So that's why we said the row visibility true. OK, so hide the row for me. So that's what it means. Now next, what we want to do, we want to check the region as well. So let's go ahead and check the region, add row visibility again and go to expressions. And here what we need to do now, we need to check two things. First, we were checking only this part. We can go ahead and add that part. We can say and, and here we say is nothing. And which field we want to use? We want to use a region. And if that's also true. So 
if you see here is nothing this one and this one so we are checking two fields if the both are uh, blank or null then we want to say row visibility true yes then hide the row otherwise don't hide it so let's put parentheses around this two of them so they will be treated as one expression for iif if so iif is going to treat these two conditions as one and then depending on that if that's the true case let's say they both are empty then our row will be hided otherwise it will not be hided click ok and now you can see that the row is uh, hidden but uh, that, that's fine maybe we can think of okay well, the very first expression is working uh, and uh, uh, that's how it is uh, hiding what i do i always go ahead and make the thing false or experiment and uh, that's how i check if you guys remember the first name or sale first name is uh, um, not null or not empty so if i will change this value then row should be displayed right so let's change this condition and here we use other other uh, field to test out uh, make our assumption false uh, we say okay now this is uh, true this one this part is uh, sold price is empty but first name is not empty in that case uh, we should see the field so we should see the row so in that case if it is working or not we, we're gonna go ahead and experiment so now you see that this is the row is displayed so our expression was working perfectly fine so we have checked all the expressions go to vis visibility go to expressions and we can check multiple uh, columns by using and and that's how we will be saying if you have more than if you want to go ahead and check more than one uh, let's say you want to have an other one you can simply use the and operator and check that if you want to have a or situation between them okay if this is a false or this is a sorry this is a empty or this is empty doesn't matter one of them is empty i want to still hide that you can use it so that's how you will be using a i i if function so it checks the very first condition if it is true then it use the first uh, value whatever we provide and we as we have written the property of uh, row visibility so we want and true it means uh, if uh, this first expression is correct uh, or uh, expression is true we want to hide that uh, row so and otherwise we will say false that means we don't want to hide it so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys uh, in the uh, next uh, video